Hey guys, girls, dudes, that's a whatever else you may wish to be called. My name is Zeke Wolf, and welcome to a video meant to expand on what we began last week with making your audio sound better live. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell because we are making these videos every single week to help you step up your streaming game. Today, we're going to be talking about Rhea plugs. So what Rhea plugs is, is these are free plugins that you can use with OBS or Streamlabs OBS to increase the quality of your microphone audio. Now there is default or standard ones that come with OBS or Streamlabs OBS, but in my personal opinion, they're not to the same level as Rio plugs. But essentially, you just come up here to this website, reaper.fm slash Rio plugs, it'll be linked down in the description. And you download it as you would any kind of download. There's not, there's not too much to it. Just gotta select if you have 32 bit or 64 bit, click it, it'll start downloading. Then go into the folder that it downloaded in and install it as you would anything else. And then meet me back in OBS, or in our case, Streamlabs OBS. All right, and now we're switched over to my audio coming out of Streamlabs OBS. So you can get an idea of what this sounds like. And can also see what differences are made as we go through this. We're in the same scene that we had set up last week when we were going through setting up our audio channels. But now this time, we're only going to be working with the microphone. Which in my case is a Blue Yeti. So you're going to right click this and go in the filters and that's where we're going to start messing through with things. So the first thing you're going to want to use is actually a default plugin, which I know I said we're not using the defaults, but in this case, it's a good start. So, before I click this, before we mess with this, I want you to take a quick look down in the mixer when I'm not speaking. As you can see, there's still audio going on, and as I'm Sure you can hear, I guess it's being picked up in the recording. That is because of my fan in the background. I'm in the southern part of the United States. It's around 100 degrees. I need a fan. But of course when you're streaming, you don't want that fan being picked up. So the first thing we do is add noise suppression. And this is essentially like what we would do when working with Audacity and using the noise removal. A lot of this is actually going to be parallel with Audacity. Essentially, what we're doing is taking what we do there, but doing it live instead. Well, we have our noise suppression. Negative 30, which it defaults as, works pretty well. I haven't had any issues with negative 30. So that's our noise removal. Noise remover. I can't remember what it's called in Audacity off the top of my head. But anyway, we're going back into filters. Now some people recommend different orders for this. Some recommend going straight into noise gate. I personally do not agree with that. I don't think that noise gate should be set up until after EQ is set up because EQ can raise some sounds that might start going past the noise gate threshold. But anyway, we're going to add another filter. This time, scroll down or go down to VST 2.x plugin. And we're going to name this one, or I'm going to name this one, this, this, you can name it whatever you want. But I'm going to name it Rhea 
compressor, which I'm pretty sure I just built that wrong. But then you'll hit this list, and I have a lot of stuff in here because of music creation and FL Studio. But the one that you're looking for is Reacomp Standalone. Once you have that selected, click Open Plugin Interface. It'll open up, it normally shows at the bottom that it has opened up. It's actually quite weird with how that works. Because it doesn't open in front of everything else. So just make sure that you look down the bottom. But what, we ha what we're going to do while we have this. Is we're going to move this slider right below the high points of our voice I guess. So if I'm talking really loud. I want this slider to be right below that. Because it's going to compress everything to that level. So when I speak, it's going to be right around this same level. Everything else in here, we can leave it as default. It doesn't matter too much. And now your compressor is set up. Compression is really easy to set up. So we can close that. And we're going to open a new VST 2.x plugin. This time we're going to be using RIA EQ, Equalization. I went over EQ a bit in the Audacity video and explained it decently well there. So I'd recommend checking that out if you need a deeper explanation. But we're still going to give a quick rundown here. So essentially, how this works, and I love Reaper for this, is you have these different frequencies. As you can see when I speak, you can see the different wavelengths of my voice. So down at the left end, you have the bass portion of my voice. Most of my speech is in the bass portion. But let's say I want to lower the bass some. I would take this and move it down. And it'll start cutting out some of those lower frequencies. But then what if, say I wanted some more in the treble parts of my voice, the higher parts of my voice, which are off to the right. I can just take three, or I could add a new band, or I could move four over. But I'm going to be moving this to that end and raising it up some. And this we have brought down the low ends of the voice and brought up the high ends of the voice. Of course, if you wanted to go through this in the opposite way, you could. Raise the base of your voice, lower the treble. Generally, you wouldn't want that, but just something you can do with EQ. If you're interested in equalization, I definitely recommend learning more about it. EQ is really cool to mess with, in my opinion. But now we're going to add our last plugin, which is going to be our noise gate. So this one, we're just going to name it Via Gate. And somewhere near here should be Via Gate. Via Gate standalone. As usual, open plugin interface. Bring it up because it doesn't open in front of everything else. This works a lot like the compressor. Where, and you want this under where you speak. But with this, I'd recommend actually like talking low and getting an idea of where your voice goes when you speak low. Because you're going to want those frequencies to go over the gate. Now quite often, you're not going to be speaking that low on stream. However, since it's live and there's more chances for sounds such as that to come through, 
we want to have it set to make sure that stuff is uh, still picked up. Now, of course, you can check your keyboard clack, so I'm going to hit a few of those real quick. As I could see, that slightly went over the gate, so I'm going to raise it a little bit. I could do of raising it a little bit more, honestly. Let's, let's go here. Uh, that, then we will mash on the button. <laughs> Higher. That was a lot higher. Okay. Voice. How those low voice can up. Let's go back to here then. Okay. That's better. And this would be your simple chain for setting things up to make your voice better live. Pretty much everything we did in the Audacity video. We just did live for streaming. I hope this video helped you. As per usual, if you have any questions that were not tackled in this video or any additional information that you need, let me know in the comments down below and I will get to that as soon as possible. But thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you all again next week. Later, Wolfpack.